Hi everyone, Kalyan Kumar here and welcome back to Product Review. In this video, I'll show you how you can use an iPad as a camera monitor and connect any external camera, including USB webcams to make zoom calls from an iPad. Why is pretty evident. For a monitor, you want a bigger screen to look at, to set up your frame and make sure everything is right where it is supposed to be. For zoom calls, you would be using the front facing camera. Now, if you're wanting to write something and show it to your audience, you would need to keep your iPad flat. Now, if you want to share the screen and which I do as I write in this part of the screen, you will see only the front facing camera to your audience while the camera is not showing you, but instead it is showing the ceiling. So it's imperative to show your face using an external camera even while you're teaching. Now, look what happens when I connect the dongle and then a USB webcam to it. See, suddenly it switches to the USB camera showing you properly. Now, when I share my screen, you can clearly see your video in this part of the screen while writing on the iPad. Now, you can use any camera for this, a webcam or a pro camera with HDMI out. Now, for this to work, you need the following. A camera with a HDMI port. Now, your camera may come with a micro HDMI port. or a mini HDMI port or a full HDMI port. All of these would work. The second thing you need is a cable that connects to your camera's HDMI port and has a full size HDMI pin on the other end. So if your camera has a micro HDMI port, you need a micro HDMI to full HDMI cable. If you have a mini HDMI port, then a mini HDMI to full HDMI cable. And if you have a full size HDMI port, then you need a normal HDMI cable. The third, a HDMI capture card. Now what an HDMI capture card does is that it converts the HDMI signal from your camera to a USB camera signal, just like a webcam, which is required in this case. So any capture card would do. You can even use those cheap ones that are available at Amazon for a few hundred rupees or in fact less than $10. The fourth thing you need is an iPad with a USB-C port. Now remember this is very important. It is only USB-C port iPad that supports this particular feature. Now this is important because Apple has recently introduced the USB-C compatibility that is USB video camera to its USB-C port in the latest iPad OS 17 version which means it can detect an external webcam. Remember, only specific apps recognize the external camera. Your native camera app will not detect this. You can use apps like CamX or USB camera. Moreover, Zoom also recognizes this external camera. Now connect a HDMI cable to your camera's HDMI out. Connect the other end to a HDMI capture card. Now I'm currently using the Elgato Cam Link. Connect the USB end of the capture card to the USB port of the dongle. Now connect this dongle to the USB-C of your iPad. I'm using the Apple dongle, but you can use any dongle. Now open the CamX or USB camera app and you will see your camera's output and your iPad suddenly becomes an external monitor. 
Now you can take a snapshot. You can also record the output on your iPad, but its resolution will be defined by the app and the output resolution of your camera. So far, in neither of the app, I could get a 4K resolution that I could actually record. Also understand, the recording on your iPad does not necessarily record on the camera. So you will have to press the record button in both if you want to record in both. Now, I tried using an iPhone with USB-C such as the iPhone 15 series, but I just could not get it to work as a monitor. I did try it, but initially I got a message saying that the iPhone is not able to provide the necessary power to the Camlink 4K. So first of all, I connected the charger also. It didn't work. So I decided to bypass this issue of getting the Camlink 4K, its power from the iPhone by connecting it to a USB-C hub, which was itself externally powered. So this would have powered the Camlink 4K by itself. But even then I did not get any signal. So I feel that Apple has not updated its iOS 17 version to make the USB port UVC compatible as they have just introduced it this year. Maybe it'll happen in iOS 18 or so. Now you can use the iPad as a monitor for, for cameras of iPhone 15 series or the series where you had the lightning ports. You can even use an Android camera. As you well know, the iPhone 15 series comes with a USB-C port, right? Now I have attached a USB-C to HDMI cable to the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the HDMI part goes to the capture card, which goes to the USB port of the dongle, which is then connected to the iPad. In fact, I can even mirror my entire phone on the iPad. Now, if you have an iPhone with a lightning connector, then connect a lightning port dongle, which has an HDMI out to the iPhone. Use any regular HDMI cable to connect from the dongle to the capture card and the rest is the same. Now, all streaming apps like Zoom, Google Meet and FaceTime recognize an external USB webcam on an iPad. Here is a demo of Zoom from both the presenter end and the audience end. the only thing that I would wish to uh, see incorporated in the iPad OS 18, which will be the next and WWDC is not far away, is the ability of the native camera app also to recognize the external camera and to be able to switch between these. Maybe even a multi-cam view, but that remains to be seen. That's it for now. Thank you for watching this and if you like this video, do give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more contents like this.